Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, so yeah, let's start with the, let's start with the, the presidential trip. Let's start with the presidential trip to uh, to, to China. First and foremost, from, from my point of view, I think uh, I was happy that President Haka Inde Ichinema finally went to, to China because clearly he, he, he leaned more on the, on the Western. And uh, I think as a, as a third world country, we need both. We need both. And I, I want you to, 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 to follow me very well. You can't align yourself as a third world country at this moment, at this point in time. You can't just align yourself on one side. We need, we need to be in the middle. We need to work with China where we can work with China. We need to work with the, uh, the Western, where we can work with the, uh, the Western country, countries. So, it was good that the president finally went to, 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 to China. But I know a number of people have been talking about the presidential travels. But those of you who have followed me very well, um, even during the time of my Edgar Lungu, I, I don't make so much noise on the travels. I don't make so much noise on the travels. Some people, I you know, become petty. I think... Somehow it's petty. Somehow these travels, they, what we talk about the travels is usually petty from my point of view. You know, because you talk about, no, he's making allowances. I don't think a president needs to travel out to make allowances. I don't think so. I don't think so. And then secondly, I also don't think a person who is, um, who is uh, at that level, would just want to travel and go and see countries as a tourist. Uh, I, unless you are too basic, because really for you, by the time you are reaching that position, you must be well exposed. Eh? You must be a well exposed person. You must be above the simple travels. A person, to, this is what I believe in. By the time you are becoming president, I, I strongly believe that you must be a person that is exposed. You must be a person that is that has means to be able to go to different parts of the of the world if you want to. So I really find it petty when people make so much noise about the the president traveling this side, traveling this side, is making allowances, is being a tourist. Because really, when you are a president and you you travel to some of these places, you don't even enjoy the countries. You don't. I mean, you arrive at the airport, there's so much protocol. You go to this hotel, there is a banquet, you, there is a banquet, you have one meeting, another meeting, another meeting, boom, you are back on the plane, back home. So there is no enjoyment. It's rare when you have a situation where a president or the head of state, you know, have an opportunity to go and see the beauties and enjoy, you know, the good things of the country. It's very rare. Eh? It's very rare. These presidents, they go to so many countries, but they hardly know those countries. They hardly know those countries because all they see is the airport. From the airport is this luxury hotel. From the hotel is this meeting, that meeting, banquet, boom, you are coming back. What do you know? What do you know about that country? What pleasure do you get? So, from my point of view, I don't think that uh, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's really a, a point of checks and balances to talk about how many times the president has gone this side, has gone that side. 
Yes, you can say Hakai Dechlem has been to so many countries and whatever, whatever. But really, what pleasure has he gotten out of those countries? What pleasure? I really doubt it. And I'm not saying this just for Haka Inde Ichilema. I said the same thing when President Haka Inde Ichilema himself was criticizing Edgar Lungu. I said the same thing. I really, I said the same thing. I said, I, Haka Inde Ichilema was very critical about Edgar Lungu's travels. And I said the same thing. What I'm saying today is what I said even, even back then, that I think it is petty. So anyway, nonetheless, I'm happy that the president went to, to China. However, I think he, we need to up, we need to, to, to bring real substance in our criticisms. I saw a number of uh, opposition leaders coming out and talking about, no, he, he arrived in Livingstone, then he went to Sulawesi, then he went to whatever, he is not meeting Xi Jinping. I mean, from my point of view, I mean, who cares if he goes to a country and he can engage the business community and who, uh, who business uh, uh, um, in investors to come into the country, even if he doesn't meet the president? What, what, what the heck? What the heck? So I was wondering why people were making such a hula baloo by the fact that they didn't see him meeting Xi Jinping. And by the fact that he, he, he arrived in, in Livingstone of China, he went to Sulawesi of China. I mean, if those, those visitations, if those visitations were helpful, I mean, why not? Why not? What was wrong with that? Why are we so negative? I don't think it is good that we should be so negative. And this is not to say that I am on the side of UPND and I will be supporting UPND. No. What is wrong is wrong. I will not, I will not spare UPND when they do something wrong. I will not spare them. I will not spare the UPND. I want you to know this. I want you, I am emphasizing this. Tomorrow there is something wrong with UPND. Tomorrow there is something with this government. Uh -uh, I swear, I'm not going to spare them. I'm not going to spare them because some of you, you are so, you are so, you are, you are so basic, you are so naive that when I, when I, when I say this is good about Haka Inde Ichilema, then I've become UPND. No, I haven't become UPND. I haven't become UPND. I'm still Economic and Equity Party president. And where President Haka Inde Ichilema does good, I will commend him. Where he does something wrong, I will definitely bring it out. So in this instance, I didn't see anything wrong with our time as opposition to start, you know, talking about our president being so negative. Instead of looking at the positive side, did we even pay attention what he was, what he achieved in those Livingstone of China or Sulawesi of China, wherever he went, did we appreciate what he got out of there? Did we appreciate? Or we were just focused on just negativity, negativity. And you want, no, no, you can, you need to be with your fellow opposition. You can't criticize your fellow opposition. When I don't agree with my fellow opposition, hello, I will not, I will not hesitate to speak up my mind. I'm not going to be imprisoned in the box of opposition. I've always refused this. Even by UPND, you are telling me the same thing. When you are in opposition, by UPND, you are telling me, no, 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 you cannot criticize your fellow opposition. And I, I refused. I refused. All political parties are my opposition. Therefore, I'm which all political parties other than economic and equity party, they are my opposition. Socialist is my opposition. PF is my opposition. NDC is my opposition. Heritage is my opposition. A, a GOP is my opposition. Of course, there will be situations where we agree. Where we agree, fine, we will work together. But to, to, to have this assumption to say, no, you are opposition, you cannot criticize your fellow opposition. I don't think that is right. That is not democracy. That is not democracy. 
That's why we have plural democracy. That's why we have different political parties. We are different. And we're supposed to be different. We are supposed to be different. We are not supposed to hold the same view on everything. There will be things that we will agree on. But there will be things that we will not agree. So please, Nababata, spare me the cheap talk of to say, no, it's your fellow opposition. Hey, we are supposed to be criticizing the party in power. UPND used to say the same thing. I refuse. I will criticize any 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 idea or anything that I don't agree with, whether it is coming from UPND, whether it is coming from PF, whether it is coming from... As long as I don't agree, I will. I will speak differently. Of course, some political parties, you may have some understanding whereby I may not come here in public and talk about them, but I will engage them. I will engage them. For example, I've got a good relationship with the, with my friend member. I've got a good relationship with my friend member. So, surely, since I'm able to, uh, to talk with my friend member, when I see something wrong with my friend member and Socialist Party, it may not be right for me to come and uh, bring it here. Unless it is something that is, you know, of high public interest, people are talking about it, you, a Socialist Party has taken a point of view, and I will definitely come and take my, my point of view. But where... I can talk to my friend member quietly. I will do that. It is the same with my, 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 my PF. But PF, we have had this relationship whereby I'm able to talk to you privately and so on and so forth. But the problem is a problem with PF. But PF is a problem with PF. It's a problem PF. So even some of these things that I'm bringing out here, please, na papa, ta don't say no, tayari. Why can't you talk to them? What tapa vo ine apandeni eba. All the names that I'm that I mentioned here, I talk to them. I talk to them. I've spoken to them. Of course, I don't I don't come here and uh, start revealing to say, oh, ah, today I was with the uh, Galungu. Oh, today I was with Mundubir. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't, I'm not even in the habit of going with them and taking pictures. No, I'm not. I'm not in the habit. It's rare. It's rare that I will go and say, let's take a picture. Very rare. I don't do that. Even in the situations where I've taken pictures, it's rare that I will actually bring out those pictures. I have a number of pictures with some of these people. But I've kept the I've kept the, the the pictures. I've kept the pictures, unless unless otherwise I want to bring out a point and I realize that this picture will help. That is when I'll bring it out. That is when I'll bring it out. I have a number of pictures with some of these people, but I don't bring them out because it's not in my nature to say, oh, I was talking to this one. I was talking to no. It's not in, it's not in my nature. But I'm telling you that most of these people that you think they are distant, they are far away from me, I actually talk to them. I don't know who. I don't have a phone number. I don't know. I have phone numbers of these people. I exchange text messages with them. So the point I'm trying to tell you is that don't think that I have not engaged these people. I do engage with these people. I do engage with these people. So, when I when I reach a point now, we can't agree, we can't agree, then I'll bring it here. Then I'll bring it here. The same with my UPND. By UPND, and um, I want to tell you, I would also want even to have that kind of relationship with President Haka in the HDMI. Not, 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 not for him to give me money. I know Haka in the HDMI doesn't give money, but... You know, for the sake of the nation, to engage. I really want to engage, and I engage a lot. So, the point I'm trying to tell you is that as opposition, let us let us not be too, op too negative all the time. Let us not be too negative all the time. All the time we are looking for faults. Fault finding, fault finding. I mean, I, I, I don't understand why we were so fault finding on Haka in the Hichilemazi China trip. Really, was it necessary? 
was it necessary what checks and balances were we offering by saying he went to he went to he went to livingston he went to whatever whatever i mean for, for what and you see on an international scene i think we should have this uh, this patriotism whereby president akainde ichinema when he stands on an international platform he's our president and we should give him the backup he is our president when he's on an international stage, international platform. He's our president. Let us, I mean, we will, we will not agree with him here and so on and so forth. But at an international level, let us treat him as our president. Let us recognize him as our ambassador. Let us give him the support. Because whatever he's going to get, whatever he's going to achieve, is going to benefit our country. So let us have that patriotism, especially on an international level. Let us roast him within our country. But let us not be quick to demean him when he is on an international, on an international platform. If we demean our president, I mean, then who are we going to respect? We are going to respect the president of another country. We don't want to respect our own president. We want to respect another 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 president. And especially some of us who want to be presidents. I mean, how are you going to feel to be demeaned, you know, as a president? You want to be respected. Let us respect him. Let us respect him. Let us respect the president that guy in the Ichirima, especially on the international water. But nonetheless, with all that was said, with all that was said, at the end of the day, President Aga in the actually did meet Xi Jinping. He did meet Xi Jinping. And uh, I am very sure that these days that he has stayed, there is something good that is coming. There is something good that is coming. And whatever the case, even if we don't get something that we can say this, 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 the point is the relationship between Zambia and China has improved. Whether Haka in the will come empty handed without anything to point at, at least we, we, we can be sure that our relationship between China and Zambia definitely has become closer. This is a fact. Whether you like it or not, you can say no, even if he didn't limit Xi Jinping, even if he didn't come out with anything, but by the fact that he went to China, President Haka in the HNMA went to China, our relationship has become better. And eventually, then we, we will have something, that's for sure. If you have a good relationship, at the end of the day, I mean, you will have something. So for me, I am happy that he went to China, you know, over and above everything. I am just happy that he went to China because now our relationship is becoming closer. And with the relationship that we have also with the West, I think this is good. We have a good relationship with the West. Now we have a good relationship with the East. I think this is good. Before we even talk about him meeting Xi Jinping, whatever they agreed, the fact that these people came together, these two countries are, are becoming closer, China and Zambia, this is very good. This is very good because really our relationship was not was not very good. Now that President Haka Indechilema has gone there, the relationship is becoming better. I am happy. I am happy. And you should be happy. You should be happy. Unless you are not patriotic. Why are you looking for faults where there are no faults? Why can't you be positive? What wrong has this man done to go to China? What is wrong in there? Of course, I do agree. I do, I do agree to those who are talking about the, the chartered plane. I think President Haka Inde Ichirima needs to put aside, you know, this pride uh, of uh, saying, no, I can't use... We have that plane. That plane, I mean, we already have it and, and blah, blah, and blah, blah. I mean, let's just start using that plane because we certainly need a plane. But Haka Inde Ichirima, we need a plane. This is a fact. And you know it. That plane that you have been using is an old, is an old plane. It's an old plane. So, yes, 
there there may be issues with the with the planes that were Abu Jalungu bought but really at the end of the day i mean how many things were aka in the have you you turned on how many things you have you, you turned on many things why don't you just see you know use that plane just use that plane honestly i think it will be better unless otherwise there is something that i don't know but from from my point of view i think we would rather just use that plane because if we are going to be hiring a plane like the one that you you hired i mean you are going to spend so much money we're going to be spending so much money and i'm told that plane just keeping it it costs a lot of money just keeping it we already have it it is in our hands i'm told it has to fly it has to do some distance every now and then that plane has to fly it is mandatory that you can't just park it like a vehicle you have to move it once in a while you have to fly it once in a while you have to fly it so if we are doing that for the purpose of maintenance we might as well just use it for this kind of trips we might as well just use it for other people who are going somewhere else i i think he, i think let us be reasonable unless it's something that i don't know and i would appreciate if uh, whatever it is the disadvantage of using that plane i would want to know about it i would want to know about it otherwise if it is the issue to say no it was corruptly bought i mean how many things are we using which we accused which we said no these things were corruptly bought how many even the roads we talk about these roads we complain to say these roads were inflated eh? so if we are still using these why can't we use this plane unless there is a serious disadvantage on that plane let us not use it but otherwise i think we should use it i think we should use it but i want to emphasize this point that please don't get me wrong i am not moving to upnd because i've seen bambi even in your blogs i've seen in your blogs you are busy talking about chilfatari hey don't embrace chilfatari hey don't bring him close chilfatari hello hello i am still economic and equity party i'm still economic and equity party and yes i'm not going to accept nonsense i'm not going to accept nonsense from upnd from pf i'm not going to accept it i will speak out i will speak out so please get me clearly i am not i am not don't start getting jealous some of you are getting jealous ah that is going to get a job hey that uh, 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 relax relax of course i want to emphasize here that i mean with the way things are with the way things are going i mean me i want to be part of government i want to learn i'm in the process of learning so if a job would come i would definitely get it i will definitely get it but that it doesn't mean that i'm i'm being compromised i will be compromised i won't be compromised i will still stand on on my grounds i will not come out and support what is wrong for example some people are playing this video of uh, uh, me bomb, talking about bomber nusambu at no you have changed you are accusing bomber nusambu hello why was i talking about bomber nusambu I was talking about Boman Nusambo because Boman Nusambo was supporting the removal of of vendors from town. He was supporting that. I was in town today. Yes, the vendors are not there. I still insist that those vendors should not have been removed at the time that they removed them. And so what I was crying for, what I was criticizing Boman on is the fact that he called the minister and congratulated him for removing vendors that's what i was talking about that's what i was talking about and even now i still stand on that i still stand on that me i'm for the poor i'm for the poor at the time that they removed vendors surely that was not a, that was not right i will still stand to talk about the the, the prices of commodities i will still stand to talk about you know these police officers who they have not employed up to now This process started last year up to now you have not employed Walawaka Pokola. The recruitment of soldiers was mad in corruption. I will still talk about these things. I will still talk about these things. I will not stop. So get it right. This is DJ Mutu.
Tart exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.